So this video is going to be the first video, even though it's the end of the day. The first video that I shot back this morning, as I was holding my camera, I must have had my finger right over the mic because you couldn't hear anything. Typical me. Right. So anyhow, I was trying to explain the deal in that video. It was so cold here last night, minus 10 degrees, that I said screw that. Got on Priceline, got myself a hotel, stayed in there, just wanted to be cozy. It's just always cold in my place, no matter what I try to do, it's always cold in here, so I just wanted to kick back in a pair of shorts, watch some TV in a 70 degree environment, if not warmer. I had that sucker crank up to 73 at one point. So anyhow, on with the show. Probably not the most exciting show, but I gotta tell you, I was kind of cruising through some of them videos, and it's interesting. It's odd. It's real. Not a whole lot of action. On to the show. All right, we're all the way up to a whopping five degrees. It is 10.30 a.m., almost checkout time. Headed over to get some lunch, and then headed to work. I told you this was going to be boring. I warned you. So here we are at the infamous submarine house. Feels a little odd recording the video in public, but here you go. This is my local stomping grounds. I abused that later. Lunch is officially finished. We're now headed north on North Dixie Drive. Look at this shit, man. You see that crack in my window? That's what minus below zero will do to you. Just had a little rock chip, and now it's a goddamn new windshield I'm going to need. Nah, I ain't fixing it. This car's old. Let's see, maybe I'll do something exciting. Ooh, I'm gonna try to run into this dude. All right, time to get some straight cash, homie. We're at the bank right now. I'm gonna withdraw some cash. There's only one thing a man would need cash for in this day and age, isn't there? <laughs> Probably illegal. Hey. Can you come over? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, over there. Good, how you doing? Yeah, I'm going to have $3,900. Got $100 cash. Okay. I'm going to turn back in. Oh, I'll get you my ID. That works. Who's primary on the account? You and I. Yeah. Alright, Kevin, there you go. Anything else today? No, that's it. Okay. Do you want me to check any count? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay, good. And same piece? 100, same piece? 90 votes? Yes. Okay. Okay, there's 20, 40, 60, 80, and 1. Thanks. Okay, you're welcome. Have a good day. You too. Thanks. You're welcome. Yeah. Sorry? Oh, I need her. Oh, okay. Warned you. Straight cash, homie. Randy Moss style. Uh, what do we got here? Look, we got a couple chompers walking in seven degree weather. Get a job and a license, you fools. All right. On the, to the worst part of the day, on the way to work. Headed down I-75 south. Approaching Interstate 70, the crossroads of America, some people claim. There's about five different places in the United States that claim that they're the crossroads of America. Uh-oh, we got some broken down car. Need some help, buddy? Nope, looks like you got you covered. We got a Cadillac and a Dodge. Probably the Dodge broke it down. Cadillac makes a solid automobile these days. They really, truly do. Well, I got nothing to say, man. Walking you through the day. It's pretty, uh oh. The trooper had somebody pulled over over there. This guy must have really been breaking the law to get pulled over on a day like this. Oh boy. Oh, there it is. There's the infamous Miller Lane. That's where I stayed last night in that hotel. You got everything there, man. You got boot country, you got places to eat, you got places to stay, you got gas station, you got hookers, you got heroin dealers. You can even get yourself shot in the chest by a Butler Township cop over here on Miller Lane. I believe it was in the parking lot of Panera Bread. 
dude, I don't know what he was up to, but he was a violent offender, and he ended up dead as shit. Pulled a, pulled a weapon on an officer, and later, so anyhow, that happened right over there somewhere. Right over there at the Panera Bread. I stayed at that extended stay America. I did not stay at the Drury, and I will never eat at Red Lobster. Uh-oh. What the fuck are you looking at? Dude. Chrysler. Oh man, I know my windows are completely filthy, but can you see downtown Dayton over there? It way up there in the distance, we got like seven buildings. We got one skyscraper. I don't know if it's a skyscraper. I think it's like 41 stories. Is that a skyscraper? It's time to get unhealthy. Going in for a pack of smokes and a Pepsi. If you watch my YouTube videos, you know I like my Pepsi. I should take this moment to apologize to fish fans. I just pulled this out from underneath my seat. You recognize that? Do you know who that is? Well, if you don't, you'll know it now. Aw. Well, anyhow, autofocus problems. Chili water. There they are. Your favorite band in the world. <laughs> this was actually a pretty good CD, though. This is 10, 12 years ago, back when they still had Hauser. Mickey Hauser. But... For the most part, I'm not a panic dude. I tried to get into them. I heard they were cool. They have their moments. But I'm no fucking one-armed Steve kind of guy or a red-hot mama. I do like Tall Boy, though. But I hear Tall Boy is perhaps their number one chomper hit. Well, just killing a little time before I walk into work and bang my head into a wall for eight hours. You know, every day at 12.02, I ask myself, just who is F Zappa 20? Why does he smoke weed on YouTube and talk about the pea fish? I don't have the answers. Do you? And you know, while we're here asking questions, is my double chin hidden with the hair and the hood on? Can you still see the Michael Strahan gap I have in my teeth? And why do I call him the pea fish? I don't know. 8.0 megapixels, man. Ah, and one of my favorite parts of the day, the infamous dinner break here at work. A lot colder. Sun's gone. Well, you just missed the first half of work. Don't worry, you didn't miss anything exciting. Look at the frozen tundra. It just sucks around here. Whoop. That's it. We've wrapped up another day. 9:21. Got out of work a little bit late. Hung out. Had a nice little story to tell the new guy at the end of the night. The uh, you know, keep will change the names for the story to protect both the innocent and the guilty. So a few years ago, we got this guy Marcus who cleans the bathrooms at work, right? But Marcus, he's a pretty good dude and all, but you know, Marcus has a line. 
uh, there's another guy, we'll call him Randy. Randy had this thing where he liked to go in after lunch and take a shit where he would lean forward and just, just blast it out. And just cover the toilet and shit. Spots where the water is not going to rinse it away. Causing Marcus to go in and clean and finally blow a stack. And then the unipooper no longer appeared. But I know who it was. I know it was Randy all along. <laughs> he may have blamed it on that other guy and his loose butthole, but it was Randy. All right, now I would suggest that if you haven't bailed on this video to hang in there. I'm almost home. We're still here on 75 North. I know you really can't see anything. It's kind of creepy, though. You just hear me talking. You see all them cars. What's going on? You can't read these signs because I'm going 72. So anyways, just hang in there, man. If anything cool is going to happen today, it's going to happen when I get home. And I'm going to be home here shortly. We'll see what happens, man. I'm going to get home. Get on the biz on. Man, I'm pumped up after work on a Friday. I got nothing to do. I should be out chasing tail all around town. But no, here I am making a fucking YouTube video. Man, what a fucking cool guy I am. So anyways, like I'm saying, some shit might go down. I'm going to get on the internet. I'm going to edit these videos. When I say edit these videos, it's not like a goddamn Martin Scorsese over here. Uh, he doesn't edit. What the fuck am I talking about? Well, you know what I'm saying. You get the point. I'm not some awesome editor. Just got a couple of little basic tools and transfer this shit from my phone to... What the fuck was that? You know, splice it all together and take out a few duds. There's a few duds. And I ain't taking out shit, man. You guys are getting it all. The duds and the good parts, if there was any good parts. You have to let me know. There it was. Tip City Exit, boys. Food town awaits. All right, I do got a gnarly dinner. To eat when I get home. We got some chicken, we got some broccoli, and we got some potatoes. Kind of skipped on the lunch dinner at work there, whatever you want to call it. My 6:30 deal. Just had a few almonds, a couple of Oreos, and a Pepsi. That's how you get it done, man. It's a fucking championship meal right there. Bag of almonds. Might have had three Oreos and a 16 ounce Pepsi. And look at me, I'm all fired up. Woo! Chip City boys. There it is, and ladies, I think I might have two or three female viewers. Hey, what's up, ladies? Woo! <laughs> Fucking car, man. It's got 154,000 miles. Just a getting her. This car's been a... Whoa, trucker, pick a lane, bud. Ontario strikes again. I'll be damned. Man, if you don't get that reference, go back to watch the Fish and Pelham and Alpharetta video. You'll understand then. Damn, I'm goddamn Canadians, man. Fuck, man, I'll never go to Tim Hortons again. All right, I'm going to check my nightly ritual basically here lately. Check fishrumors.com immediately. Probably should have had it pulled up already, but here we go. We'll see what's up. Oh, come on, man. Fucking internet's good. Nah, looks like nothing new. Nothing new. No update. Alright, so now I guess on to my email, Twitter, fantasy basketball team. Check YouTube. Watch something on YouTube. Tonight I think I'm watching Rogan and Greg Fitzsimmons. See how that goes. I'm into Fitz Dog. I like him. I like his brand of comedy. Alright, got a little sidetrack, people. That's right. It's getting late here. The hair's down. <sighs> Party time. Not exactly. So I got sidetracked, like I said. Once I got to YouTube, I saw there's a few comments left on the uh, Grateful Dead tray. Whole Soldier Field deal coming up. I never know what to think of some comments, so I go back and I watch the video. You know, look, every now and then a person will be, you know, sometimes somebody's just a complete fucking douche and whatever. I don't care what they, I'm not paying attention to them. But sometimes a person's like kind of cool, but yet they're still critical. So those are the people I'm like, oh, hmm, let's see. I'll go back and watch the video and see if they have a point or not. I still don't know what the fuck to make of some of these recent comments. So anyways, I then got... So watched about 15 minutes of the Bo Jackson 30 for 30. Damn, man, I forgot how badass he was. 
Bo in his prime, you know, I barely, barely remember him winning the Heisman Trophy. You know, I definitely don't remember any of the games. Just remember my dad had a subscription to SI. So that was when I knew about Bo. Thought he wasn't playing football. Then I knew he was playing baseball, all that stuff. Remember getting his rookie card. That was crucial. That I think it was like an 87 Donruss rookie card. Rated rookie. But anyhow then, man, he was just a bad motherfucker. Period. Probably... Perhaps the greatest athlete ever. If he would have just stuck to baseball, one of the best ever, in my opinion, anyhow. Defensively, he was sick. He struck out a lot, hit for a low average, whatever. He was ahead of his time. Everybody does that now. Performance-enhancing drugs, you might think. Oh, man, I hope not, man. That'd break my heart if I found out Bo Jackson was using roids. Yeah, I thought this was a good way to end it, man. Right here we go. That's right. You can hear it. Can you hear it in the background, people? Oh, man. Phil Lesh, Jerry Garcia. Woo! Woo! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Phil Lesh, the red, white, and blue wristbands. Mm, powerful Jerry Garcia. This is unbelievable. Lay down, my good brothers. We bid you good night. Good night, chompers. Woo! February 20th, 2015 has come to an end. I hope you enjoyed the day. Probably, if you hung in this long, man, you are hardcore. I thought it was kind of interesting. It was weird. It was none of this bullshit fake reality. This was real. As real as it gets, man. Not a whole lot goes on with YouTube guy. You're probably like, pfft. That guy sucks, man. Fuck him. Why am I watching his video? Zzz. And that's why. Good night. Good night.